Hey guys, today we gonna talk about Chernobyl from the physics perspective and the human perspective. Let talk about physics first. So, first, let begin with an introduction to nuclear energy. It's produced with uranium-235. But it's not found in nature. Only 2% of uranium is found in nature. But there is another isotope of uranium that is very common is uranium-238. We can produce uranium-235 with the process of enrichment from uranium-238 but it is very expensive. Now, when an atom of uranium-235 hit with a fast neutron, it'll release a tremendous amount of energy and with that energy, release another neutron and that neutron hit another atom. So, if you don't control the reaction, it'll soon become uncontrollable. That's how nuclear weapons work. But you don't want the reaction to become uncontrollable, so you have to absorb or slow down these fast-moving neutron. In Chernobyl, absorbers used were light water and the moderator used an RBMK were graphite rods. In the case of water being loose faster due to heat, we have another absorber called a control rod, which is made of boron which can slow things, sounds good. Right? But the problem is that tip of the rods is made of graphite. Now, if you're wondering why the hell they fixed graphite tips at the ends of control rods? To explain in simplest terms, if you lower a control rod a little, you add some neutron absorber to the core, so reducing the number of neutrons in the core, and hence decreasing the reactivity. If the rod has a graphite tip, lowering the rod also removes some graphite moderator from the core, which further reduces the reactivity. The graphite tips are believed to have contributed to the final moments before the Chernobyl disaster. Inserting the control rod normally reduces the reactivity of the core as I described earlier. However, if the rod with a graphite tip is raised completely from the core, then when you start to insert it, the graphite tips initially add some graphite to the core, increasing the core reactivity rather than reducing it. This triggered the final reactivity excursion at Chernobyl. In the next video, I will explain the human factor which led to the worst nuclear disaster. See you next time. Thanks for watching this video.